Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been wanting to do this video for some time now and I really just haven't had the chance to. So now that I got a free second, I figure I'd go ahead and do it. This is going to be a what's on my phone video. If you guys don't already know, hello, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, prior to this, I had my HTC Evo, and I thought I would be with HTC for a while. But at the end of the day, this is a Android phone, which I love. Android super rocks. I would never go iPhone because I've had, or I still have iPods, and I can't stand iTunes at all. And some people say that iPhones can do things that Androids cannot, and yeah they really can I mean Androids can do just as much and in some cases better and I just like it but regardless this is not a iPhone bashing video um so I'm gonna show you what I actually have on my phone this right here is my home screen and it is a screen that I use oops sorry it's the screen that I use the most often. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. So you can see what we got. So this obviously, again, like I said, is my home screen. And I'm thinking the camera might be flipping around the way it looks from what I can see in a viewfinder. So if my phone looks backwards, I apologize. But basically up here is just... Um, my AccuWeather, and I also have my time, my date. It says exactly where I'm at, Pukulani, cloudy, what the date is, the time, and you can refresh it depending on where you go. So wherever I am on the island, I will go ahead and refresh my phone. Up here, I have all of my icons that are currently running um, programs right now. So, for example... Um... That little funny cloud looking one is oops, is um, my Skype and some others that my husband installed so that my phone will keep running smoothly and I can keep programs from going crazy. Emails, Facebook updates, and my Instagram updates. So let me back you guys up just a little bit. It's just not blurry. Um, so that's that. The icons that I have here are kind of, um, I use an actual program to use them, and I have my cupcake screen saver, I mean my cupcake home screen in the back, which I change my home screen like once a week, or at least I try to. But anyhow, I have my camera here, my S Voice calculator, my Instagram, my photo and video gallery, Evernote, my Gmail and my Facebook are all the ones that I use all the time. Then on the bottom, you have these icons here. You can move them around in different orders, but you cannot remove them. These are your standard icons. They stay here all the time and they don't move. And that's my S note, my messaging, which is like my text messaging, um, my phone for obviously calling out internet. This is just the standard internet. And then um, I can click here to go to my apps. So I'll show you my S note. And basically what that is, is I would go ahead and pull out my S pen, which I love. And you can do whatever you want. You can write. Which, I don't know why that's so thick. But you can write and um, save it. So I use this basically to do... Um, my note taking and for my to do list for my grocery shopping list all of that gets saved here and then you can go ahead and view your list because the screen will pop up oops excuse me the screen will pop up and so I'll have all my lists here so like shopping all my shopping lists are right in here different ideas, sketches. You can do so many different things with this phone. With this pen alone, it is pretty awesome. So let me put my pen back. Go back to the home screen. 
and um, I can also use my pen to take screenshots which I love um, S voice tell me a joke I'm surprised that you like my sense of humor so much I always ask for a joke hi galaxy um, tell me a joke I said, ah, oh, not mom. But yeah, so that works so, out. Yeah, really so good. those are pretty much the ones that I use on my screen all the time. I do have several different screens for my phone. And um, so you can just slide. This is just a gallery, and it'll go through all the different pictures that I have on my phone right now. And again, like I said, the toolbar on the bottom stays there it doesn't move so you can put how many pictures you want um, this one normally when I install apps it kind of just shoots apps on these but I like to keep some of my screens open I haven't figured out how to really completely organize them the way I want and then this one I have been trying to organize the best I can so I'll go through some of these apps with you guys now Sorry, I want to make sure it's not blurry. There we go, that'll work. Okay, so I have Lookout down here, which basically is something that I can click on and make sure that whatever apps I install are safe. They don't have any problems with it. And my husband's really good at putting that stuff in there. Voice Recorder, which is this app right here, is... Um, is an app that I use if I'm on the go or something like that and I need to remember a telephone number or something. If I'm not going to pull up my pen, I can click the voice recorder and record it. My voicemail, the search obviously will search all over the internet. The flashlight, which I love. This flashlight is super bright, like seriously bright, and it doesn't just do that. You can... You can make it strobe. So I love that. Um, my yellow book I use a lot. I remember back in the day when I had to dial 411. And so now I have my yellow book and I just type in the name of the business and bam, it's there. I have blogging apps for right now. I'm just using my Evernote and my Weebly. I use Evernote for everything. Um, and transfer copy and paste but Weebly just came out with an Android app and I've been utilizing that to type my blog post which I absolutely love for my money apps right now I just have PayPal and American Savings is my regular bank at one time I had PayPal one as well as my Capital One but I got rid of those two because I realized over a month's time that I almost never use them. So that's that. Um, PayPal One basically is how I would run credit cards. I do actually use Square all the time, which I uninstalled as well because I'm waiting for a new card reader. So I figure I might as well uninstall it. And I haven't been taking payments lately. But normally, those are the ones I have. For social networking apps, basically, I have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, my Google Plus, and my Pages Manager for Facebook. Um, I use Instagram probably more than any other. And I've been really enjoying using the Pinterest app on here because sometimes I really forget and it's nice to go back and find one of the recipes that I pinned or something like that. So that's worked out really well. For my photo apps right now, I have quite a bit, but really not as much as I thought that I would. I have my Simera, which I really don't use often. Beauty camera and Insta effects, I don't use very often either. So I couldn't tell you too much about them. Um, just because I normally don't do like editing, so to say. I just use normally the filters. Or I use PixArt or Bokeh effects. Um, 
if I wanted to do that. I have Textgram, which is for Instagram. Paper Artist, which came on my phone, and it has to do with my S Pen, I believe, but I haven't checked it out yet. Again, the Bokeh Effects, Bokeh Camera, and the Bliss Cam, which I like. It gives, like, some really cool, um, like, borders and stuff like that. So, I like that one. For games right now, I just uninstalled, like, six of them. Because the boys just install all kinds of games they want to play on my phone, and then they don't play it. But right now, I have Fruit Ninja... Subway Surf, Nemo's Reef, Mahjong, City Island, and I have Candy Crush, but I didn't put it in this folder yet. For my music apps, I have Slacker. I listen to Slacker Radio all the time. My husband turned me on to that because I listen to Pandora all the time before. I have MP3 down, music downloads, MP, um, music download, and Pandora. And for my shopping apps, I only have three right now. Um, I use eBay, my Safeway app. My just for you apps, I can get coupons and then Amazon mobile on there as well. I do have more apps which I'm gonna go ahead and show you, but I'm gonna did I show you guys my so yeah, there's my cupcake one I have right now, but I have more apps, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I actually have. So I have Skype on here. Um, the camera quality on my phone is pretty good. Or really good for that matter and so I Skype with my husband if he's at work we video Skype or whatever again the Candy Crush Saga um, I have been enjoying playing the bokeh camera and effects and bliss cam are the ones that I use for editing like bokeh effects and stuff like that or bokeh I call it bokeh, and as as long as I've been in the photography field, that's what we called it. But some people call it baki. Um, icon changer is what I use to make my icons like it was on the home screen that I showed you guys. As well as the icon package, Amazon and eBay. I have Beach Buggy Blitz, City Island, Mahjong Nemo's Reef. I use Mint.com, which should be in my money apps. But I didn't get a chance to transfer it to the um, folder. My Weebly. Again, um, Beauty Camera Slacker Flipboard Page Manager. My Google Settings. Um, my NQ Android Booster, which actually helps to close out programs that I have currently running that might be taking up my memory, which, trust me, I use my phone all the time, so I use that often. Um, I have a Kick Messenger, but I never use it. In fact, I don't think I've even logged into it. I had it installed on my own phone, my old phone as well, but I just think it's, I don't know, not that great for me. I, it's not something I would use. And then Keek, if you guys are not following me on Keek, my Keek is XO Honey XO. And, um,. I love Keek. I upload a ton of stuff from time to time. Um, so definitely check me out. I have several videos and I try to do it like once a day if I have time. Um, again, Safeway Instant Effects. And then these I already showed you already. Um, some of them that I did not get a chance to show you is my fitness pal. And that's how I track my weight loss and food. I try to log in there at least once a week. I'm not good with uploading, I mean, updating my food intake. But I always try to update my stats, like my weight and stuff like that. So you can check that out. Um, Netflix is something we use all the time in our house, so it is definitely something um, that I like to have on my phone. Since my screen is so big, the boys really enjoy watching their favorite shows on it. My Days is my um, period tracker. It tracks my period, ovulation, everything, and that thing is super accurate. Um, Sprint Zone is just where I can go download free games and or paid games. And stuff like that. Um, I have Google Talk, but I don't use it. VPN client basically is um, when I used to work in a corporate field, you can sync this phone with your corporate email. 
Um, and then it keeps like all of my files. I have play books, play magazines, play movies, play music, and my Play Store. I don't normally use those apps with exception to my Play Store because that's where I download everything. Samsung apps, I can get free apps as well as, um, what do you call that? Games and stuff like that. And then, what else do I have here? There's a Game Hub, Keys Air, which I never use, but it's something that you need for, like, something. I don't know. Not ask me. I never... I pushed it once and just thought it wasn't that important. Um, there's one here that I don't see. There's, like, Messenger and stuff like that from Google. Um, there's one thing here that I don't see... But it's on my phone. It's like a flip board where you can go through and flip through all of the current events, news, all that kind of stuff. So in a nutshell, basically, that's my phone. And then with the basics, calculator, calendar, clock, um, all of those here, contacts and stuff like that are all on here. Pretty explanatory. Um, pretty much whatever I install on my phone, I will use a lot of the ones where I told you I don't know too much about it, it actually came standard with my phone, so I haven't had the chance to check it out. But that basically is it. And for people who think that you have to have an iPhone to do what iPhone does, that's ridiculous because my last phone still did more than what iPhone did. And you can get really cute cases for this. This phone is well worth the cost that it was and is probably like one of my best friends now because I accomplish so many things on this one awesome device but yeah so that is what is on my Samsung Galaxy Note 2 I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to y'all soon have an awesome day bye